Hello guys, Dev Channel here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get the current position out of your mobile device with PhoneGap. Uh, for this purpose, I have already started the PhoneGap server, which you can see here in the PhoneGap desktop application. And on the left, you see my iOS device running our latest application, which is stored in the demo iOS application. So let's open up the demo iOS application and navigate to the www folder and we're heading into our javascript folder and the index.js and we're gonna open it up with our favorite editor in my case it is textastic so in the last video we have added this show device info function to get device informations now we're heading into and writing a new function which is called get current location Uh, you have to mention that this uh, function is or geolocation is called asynchronously so you call it and after you get uh, a callback uh, it's called callback and depending on it's a success or an error so we have to put in the navigator and the geolocation object and we're gonna go get current position These methods or these these functions are not are not really provided by PhoneGap. Uh, it is exactly an HTML5 function, and we're now gonna say on um, success, and we are giving an on error non error method. Uh, the third uh, the third parameter are the options, which are optional. Now we're heading into and we're gonna say function and we're simply making copy the unsuccess and the unsuccess has the position object and their signature and we also have uh, the function on error which stores an error object so what does it mean that means if you're heading into the get current location we're calling the navigator geolocation get current position uh, function and we're heading over an unsuccess and an error callback unsuccess is called if we're getting the position on the most devices especially in iOS you have to confirm that the application ha or can use a location services if you do not confirm that you will get here above our propose we're gonna say that uh yeah we're gonna confirm it and we're gonna see the latitude and the longitude so we're going to have some more of longitude and it is stored in the position object which is coming there so we have to name it the same position and then there is a course object in it where the longitude is stored it's important to know you cannot say position longitude you have the the chords object in between and the same for latitude position chords latitude i hope i do not spell it wrong but these are longitude latitude you have a couple more things in in uh, the position object where you can find it on the phone with documentation is like the altitude the accuracy the altitude accuracy heating speed if you're gonna make a watch and the timestamp and the timestamp I will go there for the timestamp because well you know at this time your device but at this position so you can make an easy tracking All right, we got the latitude, the latitude, and the timestamp. The timestamp is uh, stored at the position object itself. And now we're gonna go there and say, we're making an alert box, latitude. And we make a simple string concatenation. That's what we did in the last video too. Latitude. Simple copy and paste. 
<laughs> because the change to make an error is not is not so big if you only copy those things. Timestamp. Just spell it right. I'm making a plus there. <clears throat> so if we now go there and we're hitting the get current location method and we got a success back, we should display it in the alert box. On the other time, if we're getting an error, we're making an alert box too. And we're saying, are we getting two things back on these objects? We got one thing, the error code, which is stored in the error object itself, of course, the error code. And then we got the error message, which you guessed it is in the error message. So that's basically everything we do there with the error, we are displaying it. Error code, error message, all right. <clears throat> Uh, what we do need now is to go in the demo application and add a button to fire it up. And we do it the same way as we did in the last review. So we open it up with, ah, oh, not with text edit, my mistake. We open it up with Factastic. And we're gonna go up there and add this button. So we're gonna paste into the functionality. I do that because it's much easier. Now we cover the button. We go there and say, add use location. And the on click event is this guy. And we're saying, get current location for our button. And we're hitting save. And now, as you see there, on our application, the get current location button appears. Now I'm going there. <laughs> oh, it was an alarm. Now I'm going there and hit the get current location button on my application. Oh, I missed it. Come on. That was the info button. And we see there nothing happens. I'm gonna go there, get current location, it should be called. And we are saying, we make a little bit debugging here. Start current location. Connecting the device, waiting to load, and we're hitting current location. And it says start current location. But then nothing happens. And I misspelled the geolocation there, which is a common, uh, common mistake. Yeah, that is a, it's a good point, yeah, to, to see you cannot really debug it, yeah. You can only go there and say retrieve position, waiting to load it and hitting start again. And we see we are not going there. Just re do it. All right. So I found um, a mistake, another mistake in the navigator G location the current position. Uh, writing, I misspelled it. But now, if I'm hitting C and the application is transferred to our device, which now happens, uh, I will see the position. So if I'm hitting the get current location button, I see the start current location, which is here positioned. At, and if there's no success, I will see the retrieve position flag. Now I'm getting the retrieve position, and the language legend time spam is put out into member uh, variables and we should get an error alert box with the position details. And now I'm seeing the latitude, the latitude and the time span. It's Monday, 12 October, 7.48 and GMT plus two. And that's mean I'm sitting here in middle Europe, <laughs> if you're interested guys. So that is basically everything you need for, uh, for uh, the location. Now let me show you one thing if I'm going there. I'm here in the location-based service and I'm saying the Fungal application, which is running these things, has no access to my data, to my location data. It's going there. I'm hitting get current location and now I'm getting the error message with code one and the message is empty. That means if you're retrieving code one, you do not have any access to location-based service in your application. You have to consider that if I'm going back and let's say at the usage of the app, 
I'm going there and I'm getting a position. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have learned something. And if you have any further questions to this video or any other video, do not hesitate to contact me. Also the same if you have any wishes for future videos. Hit the like button if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel to be updated. And guys, have a nice day. Bye.